Hi friends, Miss Ward here. So I wanted to read you a story today that I really enjoy. And I think it's gonna be very helpful for a lot of us right now. I know that a lot of us are struggling with some of the things that are going on in our world. And this is a great book that I find really inspirational for what to do when I have a problem. So what I'd like to do is share this story with you, ask you a few questions along the way. And at the end, I'll share a personal story of something that I did when I had a really big problem and how um, I used some of the advice that I didn't, I hadn't even read yet from this book. So I really appreciate this story and it's called, What Do You Do With a Problem? And the story is written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Bessem down here. What do you do with a problem? Think about it. Is there a problem that's bugging you right now that maybe you're worrying about? Think about what that problem is. And maybe as you go through this story, think about how you might be able to apply some of the ideas in this story to the problems that you're having. What do you do with a problem? I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Here's our character. They have a problem. Just arrived. Sometimes that's the way problems do. We didn't say, hey, can I have a problem today? Nope. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem? I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scowled at it. I even tried ignoring it. But nothing worked. How do you think this person's feeling right now about their problem? You can kind of see on their face, shaking their fist at it. That problem, do you notice anything about the size of the problem? Let's look back. There it is. Uh-oh. Do you notice anything about the size about it? I do. Looks like it's getting bigger. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? Uh-oh. It's getting even bigger, that problem. Do your problems feel like that sometimes? I know mine do that even when I worry about them, it's like I feed them, they get bigger and bigger. What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? Oh no, poor one. That problem is getting bigger. It's taking up more of their thoughts and more of their space. What if it takes away all of my things? Ooh, that's hard. If you have a problem and there's some things that you are really um, to care about, sometimes the problem can take away those things. They don't have to be physical things. A problem might not take away your favorite stuffed animal. It might not take away um, your favorite lunch, but a problem can take away your sense of security. It can take away your sense of safety. It can take away the quiet space in your brain that helps you relax. I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. Ooh, look at that problem. It's getting bigger. It's starting to swirl. How do you think this character is feeling? Can you see their hands on their face? They're scrunching up their face. If you're not sure how this character is feeling, try this shape on. Try making this shape with your body. See how you feel. That'll give you some idea. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. Oh my gosh, that is a tidal wave of a problem. Yikes. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. I don't know if you ever heard the phrase, don't think about an elephant. What did you think about when I said that? An elephant. Yeah, sometimes trying not to think about something means that you're just thinking about it more. And um, the best thing to do, I find in those instances, instead of thinking about an elephant, if you don't wanna think about an elephant, just think about something that is not an elephant. That way, your mind is somewhere else. 
And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. What do you notice in this picture? Do you see how the pictures are also telling us a story? That problem has gotten so big. It's turned this person's, this character's umbrella upside down. It has swirled the weather all around them. The problem is now everywhere. Do you remember how it started? Let's look back. How did that problem start? How big was that problem at the beginning? There's that problem at the beginning. It's definitely there. It's not like it's not there. But look at it now. Whoa. Look at how different that is. Now, does it mean that because the person worried and the character was worrying about it, that's what made it grow? Maybe. But maybe it was growing also. Sometimes just worrying about problems make, make them bigger in your mind. But not thinking about them doesn't mean that they disappear, right? So the problem could be growing by itself. It could also be growing in their mind because they're thinking about it so much. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. Interesting. So now they're aware that maybe thinking about it is making it bigger. So remember how I said, I don't know. The problem could be getting larger on its own. That is a thing that problems sometimes do. It also could be getting larger because they're letting it take up more space by thinking about it all the time. That is another thing that problems do. But now they're aware of it. Well, that's interesting. Let's see what happens next. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. Let's find out. I realized that I had to face it. Ooh, this is an interesting moment. Okay. So this character knows they have a problem. They know that the problem is getting bigger. They know that maybe thinking about it affects the problem in some way or another. They're not sure, so they're going to face their problem. Do you think that's a smart thing to do? Do you think it's a brave thing to do? Do you think it's a silly thing to do? What do you think? Maybe it depends on the problem. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. Whoa, they just went for it. Look at that. They just went after it. They tackled their problem. I wonder what that would look like. Think about the problem you started thinking about at the beginning of our story. What would tackling that problem look like? Is it the right thing to do? Sometimes. Is it the wrong thing to do? Sometimes. Depends on what the problem is, right? But think about it. Could you tackle your problem or how might you address your problem? This person went for it. They're like, this problem doesn't scare me. They got all geared up and off they went to tackle that problem. Whoa. That's called empowerment. It's pretty strong. Pretty strong force. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. What? When they got inside their problem and started to grapple with it, and I use the word grapple. I don't know if you know that word. I like that word when it comes to problems, grapple. It's also fun to say, grapple, 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 grapple. G-R-A-P-P-L-E, grapple. It's what we do sometimes with problems that are really sticky and tough, is that we grapple. It's like wrestling but with more grip. But when they started to really grapple with that problem, they discovered that it had something beautiful inside. I wonder what it was. Mm, this next page tells us what it is. What do you think it might be that was beautiful inside? What's something beautiful? Share it out if you'd like to. Something beautiful. So many beautiful things, right, to choose from? My problem, here's the beautiful thing, hold on to your hats, here it comes, held, drumroll, da -da 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 -da. an opportunity. Mmm, that's impressive. It was an opportunity for me to learn 
and to grow, to be brave, to do something. An opportunity, that's a big word. It has two P's in it, just like grapple. Grapple, G-R-A-P-P-L-E. If we grapple, we might get an opportunity. O-P-P-O-R-T-U-N-I-T-Y. There's the word unity in there. That's pretty impressive. That's interesting. Hmm. It's an opportunity. It means it's a chance, but it's also a chance for something good. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. There it is. Wow. Look at that picture. Do you see how it's, this is interesting because did the clouds, did the dark stuff go away? No, it's still there. But inside of it, there's a little light that's shining, like a little lighthouse. Now let's look at that beginning picture again. I'm gonna go back to that beginning picture. Why don't you look at this beginning picture right here? Do you see the size of that problem? Inside of that problem is hiding an opportunity. Now I didn't see it at the beginning. I certainly couldn't see it here. Whoa, I don't see that opportunity in there. I definitely don't see it here. I don't see that opportunity. It wasn't until our character started to really grapple with it that they unlocked the opportunity. Just like in a game, in Minecraft or Roblox, when you unlock a new level, grappling with a problem will sometimes unlock that level. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. Look at that. Whoa. I know their secret. What is their secret? Whisper it into your hand. Every problem, everyone, is this true? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. Look at them. Sailing the seas. Those are kind of choppy seas, but do you think they're brave? Absolutely. I wonder if that's true, that every problem has an opportunity. How could we find out if that's true? I think we're just gonna have to grapple with a bunch of problems and see if we can find the opportunities in them. Let's do that. And then you can tell me back whether or not you think it's true. That's the end. Here's the last picture. Pretty cool. So this story written by Kobe Yamada. Here's some pictures. There's Kobe Yamada right there. And down here, there's Mae Besom down there. That's the author who wrote the story. And that's the illustrator, the person who wrote the pictures for the story. North, South, East, West, if you're one of my students, we've been working on those in first grade. I like how the pictures also tell a story, not just the words, but the pictures tell a story all the way through as well. Even if I didn't know the words, I could maybe write my own story with the pictures. All right, so let's talk about this idea of every problem has an opportunity. I told you I was gonna tell you a personal story of a real problem that I had and what opportunity it made. And I'll even share some pictures about it 